Growing numbers of Venezuelans are taking to the streets and confronting riot police. We Venezuelans do not have food. There are no jobs, no education. There is insecurity. We don't want this anymore. The unrest comes as no surprise to Latin America expert Michael Shifter. Economic conditions have never been worse in Venezuela. Uh, crime is off the charts, completely uncontrolled. Inflation is the highest in the world. There are shortages of basic goods. And there's widespread frustration and discontent with the government. President Maduro has mobilized his backers, including petroleum workers like Jose Hernandez. The oil industry stands with President Maduro with his economic measures in order to counter everything the oligarchy is doing. The oligarchy is a reference to Venezuela's political opposition, whose leader, Leopoldo Lopez, has been arrested. We have to take up protests in the streets. It is a moral duty, a patriotic duty. If not now, then when? Lopez stands accused of inciting violence. President Maduro also accuses the United States of engineering unrest and has expelled three American diplomats. White House spokesman Jay Carney refutes the charge. We've seen many times that the Venezuelan government tries to distract from its own actions by blaming the U.S. or other members of the international community for events uh, inside Venezuela. Meanwhile, Mr. Maduro is making thinly veiled threats about any effort to remove him from office. If one day you receive news the oligarchy succeeded in toppling a government, a scenario that will not happen, then perhaps this peaceful democratic revolution will take on another character, an armed one, deeply revolutionary. The world should know this. We are willing to do everything necessary. In his quest to boost the fortunes of Venezuela's poor, former President Chavez concentrated political power and depleted Venezuela's substantial oil revenues for massive social welfare programs. He is proving a tough act to follow, according to analyst Michael Shifter. Chavez really had the charisma, he had tremendous political skills, and he had money. Uh, he really rode a, a boom uh, in, in, in Venezuela. And uh, his successor doesn't have charisma, doesn't have political skills, and is really strapped for, for fiscally on the fiscal front. Shifter does not believe a coup is likely, but thinks conditions in Venezuela could deteriorate further, leading to far deeper, more widespread unrest and pressure for new elections on an accelerated timeline. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington.